up guys it's Matt here how are we doing today today I'm gonna to be doing a video on my 2000 Subaru Outback and uh, I'm gonna be replacing the rear diff bushings which is common on this car but I'm gonna be doing a do-it-yourself <laughs> kind of sketchy method because I don't want to drop the rear subframe or press these in so I purchased this so the product I picked up to fill the diff bushing which there's almost nothing left of is 3m window weld on the forums i've seen that people have used this before um it worked but i don't know how long it lasted and since this car is not even worth like 900 dollars it's my beater daily i don't really care i'd rather try it out and see how it goes so 3m window weld i bought this off ebay for like 20 bucks and uh hopefully it will fix the problem so time to show you the diff bushing yeah, I don't know. Pretty dumb idea, but it works for the meantime. And uh, so what I plan on doing is putting a metal sheet cut circle around back and the front. I'm going to put them on the rear of this up over here as a back plate. And I will hold the actual diff and shaft with some jack stands. I will take these nuts off. And at that point, I'm gonna fill it up with the 3M window weld and let it dry. Just so you guys know, every time I go to shift, so the welds aren't that bad, except clearly it bounces. So hopefully, filling this with the 3M window weld will completely, or even drop this significantly to about like, I don't know, a quarter of the noise. It's annoying as hell. The product I'm going to be using to fill up the diff bushings or the products are a chalk gun, had it in the garage, the 3M window weld, and use some pretty thin sheet metal as a back plate for both sides, one on the rear, one on the front. Gonna like squeeze them together and then put the screw over it so it stays. Then my Dremel kit just to cut out circles for these. So I'm going to measure the size of the diff bushing and um, I'm gonna get to it. Guys, I actually just found an old pair of snips, so I'm gonna use this instead of the Dremel. It's a lot easier, and uh, this is some pretty thin metal, so it shouldn't be a problem. But Dremel is kind of pain in the ass, even just testing it out, so definitely get some snips, Harbor Freight, if you don't have. All right, guys, so my circles have been cut out. It's gonna go on the front and the back like this. So let's say this will be the back, that'll be the front. And then the uh, window insulator is gonna go in between over here. So uh, I'm gonna go down and see if I can like sketch this out real quick and see how the best way to make this work. All right, so the only way I could actually slip this over the diff um, bushing like stud or screw you'd call it is to cut it out like this and I'll show you this is for the back end so it's kind of hard to see but the metal is behind that one and I'm gonna get it behind that one now and then the front I'm just gonna slip it right over on those screws like in the front of it so it'll be very similar to this and you just gotta jam it boom and it stays I'm gonna set this up on nice and tight you should be able to tell by the nozzle oh there we go so I'm gonna put this under the car now and start filling up the first side and see how it goes fill up everything and try and leave no spaces I'm obviously gonna do the whole thing and just show you guys I'm gonna put the camera down All right, guys, so I filled the first one completely, as you can see. Um, I really tried to fill up the whole entire thing as best as I could. It was pretty hard, but it should work relatively decent. So there it is. I'm going to just push this in. I have a dollar glove on. Really make sure it's, you know, in there. I can't lie, this stuff is already hardening pretty quick and it's literally been about two minutes. 
I know it's not the hardening time for this, but not that bad. And now I'm gonna slip the other metal piece over. Give this a nice push. See, so when you do that, it really suctions onto this. All right, guys, so the, um, so the bushings are done, filled the 3M window weld front and back. They have the metal spacers there or blockers to hold it. It's been a full 24 hours since the bushings have dried. Let's check them out real quick. Definitely really ghetto, but pretty damn solid. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna send it and see if it works. So before you can see that the diff could jiggle. Nothing at all. Time to start her up. So guys, so far, no clunk. Let me give it a quick little test drive. And believe me, when it was clunking, you could hear. I should have actually taken the video beforehand. It was ridiculous how loud it was. Wow, the problem is fixed. I'm telling you, I could literally push the clutch in before and the whole drive shaft. Dun -dun 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 so. Where it would really jiggle is if I tap it like that. And you know what? It's gone, so I'm gonna consider this a success. The only real question is how long will the 3M window weld last? So I mean good, easy, cheap way to do it guys. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button for me. Let's get to 500, maybe 1,000. And I'll peace out.